Romance is in the air. It seems like every season we get more and more romance anime, and I can say the winter 2023 season was no different, as it was packed with great romance. Today we are taking a look at the best romance anime in that season being Tomo chan is a girl. Let's disrobe this anime. We start with the story. We follow Tomo, a tomboy who is quick to resort to violence and probably strong enough to beat Goku on her journey to get June, her childhood best friend, to see her as a girl. The story plays out in usually two or three bite-sized stories within an episode, and that's it. Nothing overly complicated complicated or involved to understand here. Now we get into where the show truly shines, and that is its characters, and we have some really good ones here. I've already mentioned Tomo, our main character, but let's get into what makes her such a great main character. Tomo is truly a wonderful friend, not overreacting or making assumptions when they do something wrong. June might be the only exception here. She's willing to help anyone out, even though she was just having an issue with minutes prior. Making her a main character we not only connect, but actively want to root for, as we see her struggle with her own femininity and what that means for her friendships. Not to mention her violent nature is hilarious. She's incredibly awkward and is more likely to punch her way out of situations than talk her way out of it. Adding in some slapstick comedy in what would usually be awkward or tense moments. Adding in being oblivious to social cues and mix it with her violent nature and you get hilarious scenes of Tomo reacting to situations. For example, in the first episode, two girls think Tomo is flirting with a guy that they like so they try to intimidate her. Little did they know when they picked this fight, Tomo was ready to throw down. You can pinpoint the moment they realized they were screwed if they fought Tomo. But most anime, this might be a moment where the main character gets bullied and there needs to be some knight in shining armor. Instead, Tomo is the knight in shining armor, inducing straight fear and panic into them, and so they get the misunderstanding resolved. She goes from ready to bury them six feet under to trying to help them flirt with the guy in question. This truly sums up who Tomo is. If you want to throw down, just name a time and place and she will happily meet you there. We actually see that at the end where she gets a random challenge and is incredibly happy. Once the dust has settled and intentions are laid out, she lets things go and is happy to make new friends, especially those that come to her for love advice as she knows nothing but still wants to be in that position. A truly wonderful, well-rounded character that can only grow with the show as romance still isn't her strong suit. Next up, we have the queen of disaster, the malice in the palace, Misuzu. Misuzu is probably my favorite character in the show. She's one of Tomo's best friends and is that pessimistic, sadistic, but hilarious friend you have. She truly does enjoy the suffering of others, putting on hilarious and evil faces. Whether it be messing with June or anyone else, she exudes negative energy. Just look at her face when she tells her she's gonna be in a fight with some girls. Misuzu promised her help, saying she would destroy them emotionally. While Tomo might break your teeth, Misuzu will break your spirit and will to live. While Tomo may be the sun guiding and illuminating all, Misuzu is the reason you run down the hallway after turning off the light. The reason you lock the door at night, she is the one that knocks. All that makes her interactions with others funny whether it be someone trying to give her a hug or admonishing someone around her. It's really nice to see. She has a good balance between the characters and adds more shock factor when she has those down to earth moments. She comforts Tomo early on in the season after a groping incident, taking off her I don't care mask to give you this brief moment of, oh, she can actually connect with humanity. Something we also see later on the show, which really opens her up as a character. The last main character is June, the love interest of the show, the whole purpose of the title. You will be thinking to yourself, how do you not know Tomo is a girl? Just how? How? Well, the answer is he doesn't want to know and acknowledge it. Being friends with Tomo, he treats her as one of the boys. This unfortunately puts him on the receiving end of a lot, and I mean a lot of abuse from Tomo. For most of the show, he's just an oblivious character who shows up for the usual romantic scene with Tomo, although he doesn't see the romance in it. June is one of the few characters that actually needs more time throughout the series to fit into his own. Outside of ignoring situations where Tomo is obviously not a guy and being the butt of many jokes, he doesn't do much. It's not until later in the season we see his motivations and how deeply he thinks about things as he is one of the few enigmas of the show. He absolutely adores Tomo as a goal in terms of who he wants to be like, constantly comparing himself, limiting his own potential as a not surpass his bright shining sun. Early on is truly the moments with Misuzu where he showcases his personality since there is no need for him to be oblivious with her. We see him be extremely petty, but at the same time drop everything to help her if it's needed. That's not to say he's a bad character, but he truly shines as the star in the last two episodes, where we get to see him truly express himself with Tomo and not take a backseat as just an envious guy friend. I know I said that was the last main character and that's because the show throws Carol at you in the second episode. At first glance she may seem just like another pretty girl that all the boys are after but the show never delegates her to that role. She's instead a sweet, caring, but often oblivious friend. Her introduction shows her as Tomo's enemy since she believes they like the same guy. Seems like we've heard this story before huh? Putting June in another uncomfortable situation is something she is not afraid to do as she does it various times. Although not many storylines revolve around Carol, she brings something you wouldn't expect and that's well rounding the cast even more. Having me to be negative to Tomo would get old quick, so we introduce a character that never seems sad and constantly likes hugs and touching. She is the true opposite of Misuzu, so we can see them go back and forth for comedic content without exhausting the relationship Misuzu and Tomo have. She also acts as another voice for Misuzu to talk to 
since she has a rocky relationship with June and her personality takes a specific type of person to be friends with. Is she an airhead? Yes, of course. Is she an incredibly deep character? Not really, but is she still essential to the show? Absolutely, and she grows on you more and more throughout the series. Her childlike curiosity and naivete leads to funny moments, and you can't forget the various hilarious faces she has. Always putting on a smile and a brave face really helps her be a glue that puts the comedic moments together. These characters' interactions make up the show, since there isn't much of a storyline to talk about. There's only so much you can stretch one character, not noticing another one, before it gets old. But the shenanigans these characters get into help with life and make each episode exciting. Take one of the final episodes where they are in a play. The reason we got Misuzu in a dress is due to Carol. We see Carol as a supporting character that puts Misuzu and Tomo in a place to shine while June is in the background. This is a perfect representation of the beginning of the show. As they build Tomo and Misuzu into their own characters, June takes a backseat until they are fully established and the romantic tension between June and Tomo has stretched to its full potential that we see him come out. A wonderful show. If you haven't seen it, you must. And if you have, you know exactly how endearing it is and how the show just gets better and better as you go on. This is an anime disrobed and Tomo-chan season 1 has officially been disrobed.